IPC has helped me as a teacher because I find it much easier now to plan. Um, you know, the IPC has obviously produced um, units for you that you can take and really adapt and make work for you in your classroom. And it gives you that chance to be much more creative and experiment. And, you know, it kind of puts the ownership back onto the teacher now. So it's, it's really exciting. How would, your, how would your picture be different then if it was a daytime scene? What would you do differently? The sky would be blue and grey and white. And would it be would it be brighter use of colours as well? Yeah, the the grass would be much greener. It would be much greener. Excellent. We've been doing IPC for about two years now, um, and it's changed the way the children learn in in many different ways. They have a new enthusiasm for their topic work and their learning, and they have a much greater understanding of every topic that we actually work through because of the fact everything connects together for them now and really links and they get to see the bigger picture. Okay, if I, but if I said to you, OK, Edward, I want you to write a description of a nighttime scene, mm. how would that be different to painting it? Because when you, you're painting it, you see what it's like, but when you're writing it, it's just telling you about it. It's just telling you about it. And where, where do you have to, if, it's, if you're reading a piece of writing, where do you have to see it? In your mind. In your mind, in your imagination, don't you, instead? But here, we can see exactly what you're talking about. So it's a different way of learning, isn't it? It's a different way of showing our learning as well. My favourite thing about the IPC is definitely the entry points. I think sometimes I actually get far too carried away, more so than the children. Um, love the dressing up, love the getting the people in, um, you know, really organising a fun activity for them just to really kind of inspire them and motivate them to want to learn more. Yeah, excellent. What's that been another really good entry point that we did not so long ago? Timideo. Star Restaurant. Star Restaurant. What was that all about? What topic was that for? We are what we eat. We are what we eat. And why do, why do we have a restaurant? Helped us by knowing what the healthy food was and the unhealthy food was. That's right. So when that's we were good. doing our topic-based learning, we would obviously have everything separate, you know, history separate, um, science separate. Um, everything was kind of very much segregated in its little box. Now everything comes together and links and it means that the children have a greater understanding of the subject because they're able to see this bigger picture and know exactly why they're learning the different facts that they are. I, I love it. I, I, the way that we deal with the entry points, we just get so enthusiastic about them. I've done a crime scene with a, with a person laid out on the floor in masking tape, like the dead body. In the chocolate one, we had a chocolate tasting. So. And it just, it gets everybody so enthusiastic that then they just all want to learn. And seeing that from the children makes you even more enthusiastic about teaching it. Because it is so cross-curricular, you get a chance to bring so many different things into your teaching rather than having static units, which is what we were used to before.